What is the uncommon truth? Let's start by defining the common truth. Well, from my perception, it's what most of us think or what we individually accept or decide is our truth. But does that mean it is the truth? Now let's define what is uncommon about the truth. It's fear. And truth doesn't have any fear. None. It doesn't care what I, you, we, or even they think. The truth is the truth. It's confident in the fact alone that it is what it is, true. The truth is freedom. So join us as we ask some of life's tough questions. We seek to answer and knock persistently to find the uncommon truth in the matters of life that affect us all in uncertain times. So let's begin this journey together today and find the uncommon truth. So our first talking point today is why the uncommon truth? Bob, would you like to start us off? Heath Nacy said, um, um, yes, I will. One of the things you just commented on, which is quite interesting, is the concept of change. So let's just take a look at change. Um, human beings, and here's a bit of truth. Human beings are the only living things on planet Earth that actually have the ability to um, intentionally change. So I was just out hiking in the uh, mountains just yesterday. And I took with me my bear uh, repellent because hibernation is ending or has ended just recently. Bears are hungry. So every year bears go up in the woods, dig a hole in the snow and hibernate here in Canada. And they don't, they don't break from that. They do it year after year after year. They don't have the ability to change. Humans are different. Humans can at any time. We're not geese. We don't always fly north. We can fly south east, west, or north, depending on what we want to do, right? So that's, that's a bit of truth, is that we have the ability to change. But in these times, it's interesting with technology, and Tony can certainly speak to this. I just read recently that there's over 2.5 quintillion bytes of data that are created every single day. Now, I don't even know how much a quintillion is, but it's a massive amount of information. And I've noticed that over the last, you know, 10, 20 years, things are getting more and more confusing. It doesn't take long on searching on the internet or talking to somebody to, to, to discover that the things they're saying may not be true. They may not, they may, they have heard them. They may believe them, but I don't believe that. I don't think it's true. So with all this information in the world, it's getting harder and harder to determine what is the truth, determine the true road, my true road, my true path, which way it should go. It's very confusing out there. Now, I've got lots of years of experience behind me and tons and tons of failures. So I know uh, from my experiences um, what is probably the best path for me. So I can sift through things easier than than um, uh, many, many people that I meet and that I work with, and family members too. So it's a, it's a big challenge to figure out life's bigger questions. So practically, things like, how do I create wealth and prosperity? How do I be happy in my career? How can I find my perfect life partner? These are very practical questions mm -hmm. that people deal with and struggle with. With all that misinformation and confusion, that's out there today, it's difficult to figure out a path. And then the bigger questions like, who am I really? Who do I want to be? Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? What's my purpose? These are huge questions that yeah. um, have answers. And uh, I know that I've been uh, blessed enough and lucky enough to have, have solved a lot of those things for myself. And uh, part of my purpose to be with you guys today is to, is to say, um, that there is an answer for a lot of these things. There are paths for a lot of these things, but that's navigating through the clutter is a difficult challenge. And it's really good to have people that you can navigate it with. And that's why I'm happy to be here, Heath and Tony, is maybe we can be helpful to some people along the way to help them navigate through that clutter, help them find practical answers to practical questions and maybe bigger answers to the bigger questions in life. Thank <laughs> you.